Okay, let's look at this problem. Here we have the equations of two lines, both of them in standard form, and we're being asked to solve this system of equations by graphing. That means I'm going to graph this line and I'm going to graph this line. The first thing I need to do is find two points that are on this line and two points that are on this line. That's the next thing we're going to do. Okay, let's look at the equation of each line separately. We're going to find two points on each line. Let's start with the left line. If x equals 0, I'll substitute 0 in for x and get this equation, which means y equals 14. Therefore, the point 0, 14 is on the line on the left. If I let y equal 0, then I'll have x plus 0 equals 14, which means x equals 14. That means the point 14, 0 is also on the line on the left. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing to the line on the right. If x equals 0, I'll have 0 minus y equals negative 4. So negative y will equal negative 4. Negative y means we have a negative 1 in front of the y. So I divide both sides by the number in front of y. The negative 1's cancel out on the left, and on the right, negative 4 divided by negative 1 is 4. So the point 0, 4 is on the line on the right. If I let y equal 0, I'll have x minus 0 equals negative 4. So x equals negative 4, which means the point negative 4, 0, is on the line on the right. I now have two points for each line. Now I can graph. So now we're back and we're going to graph the lines. We're going to do this by graphing two points for each line. The first thing I'm going to do is make the grid larger so that I can see it. That's better. Now I'm going to click on the line tool, click, and I'm going to click on the two points for the top line. How about I'll start with 0, 4, 14, 0, 14, and click on it, and then go to 14, 0, and click on it. Now I'm going to click on the line tool again because I have two lines. I'm going to plot the point 0, 4 and negative 4, 0. And I'm going to save. Now all that's left for me to do is see if I've got the right answer. I'm going to check answer. And it's good. Now we have to look at the graph and try to figure out what is the point of intersection. Again, I'm going to make the graph bigger so I can see it. 
That's the bad thing about solving a system by graphing is you kind of have to look and guess. Well, it kind of looks like maybe the x-coordinate of this point is 5 and the y-coordinate of this point could be 9. So that's going to be my first guess and we'll just see what happens. I click on the answer box, click, oh, oh, not yet, it won't let me until I close the grid. Now, hello. There. Sometimes you have to click a few times. Okay, I'll go to the ordered pair tool, click. This is where I'll put the x coordinate. This is where I'll put the y coordinate. I guessed 5, 9, so I'll click 5 for the x coordinate and 9 for the y coordinate. I'll check my answer, and it's right. Whenever you solve a system by graphing, this is the method you want to use. Talk to you later.